I've got a crescent dough sheet that I've laid out here, and I'm going to take some chive and onion cream cheese, and you're gonna put about two ounces on here. They say about half a cup. No, fourth a cup, excuse me, fourth a cup. So we're gonna put our chive and onion cream cheese down. And we're gonna spread it out onto our crescent dough. So this will be like super easy for like a party or a get together yes, or something like yes. that. Yes, right? And hopefully it will taste delicious. Okay, once you've got that spread on there, you're going to take some cheddar cheese, and I have sharp, you can do mild or sharp. Oh, and load it up. You load. know we like our cheese. Yes, load it up. Okay, now we are going to take some bacon. You can use regular bacon, or I have this Hormel real crumble bacon. Do you think that bacon's like actually real, like they say? But it tastes, yeah. I believe it's just, yeah. It's good to me. Now you can put all this good bacon on here. I feel like you can make this with any sort of meat. You like could. You ham, want sausage, turkey. ham? Yes, you could do all kind of varieties. Okay, once you've got that done, you're going to take it and roll it up. Make sure you get it nice and tight. tight. Yes. And sometimes my hands don't like to work as well, but. I mean, this probably isn't easy. Oh, it's easy. It's just if you have one hand, it just doesn't work. That's okay. I'm not going to give up. Roll it on up here. And you're going to take your pan with your parchment paper. Have it ready. And you're going to just cut it. So you'll have little pinwheels. And you're going to put What's the inside it of that look like? You see it there, Tyler? I can hold it up just one second. Oh, yeah, that looks good. We're going to put about an inch apart on there. I bet this is going to turn out good. Well, you're, it should take about 10 minutes to cook, and your dough should be kind of a flaky brown. It'll be, and it's, not, it's a real simple. If it tastes as good as it's easy to do, you'll have a good little snack. Like, I've had pinwheels before, but... I have too, but I've never, I've never made any. Like, I've had it where, like, it's just like a ham and cheese and ranch on a tortilla rolled up. Oh, yes. But I haven't had something like... With, with the crescent roll? Mm-hmm. Well, I think it could have... I'll be honest with you, I think I should have rolled it a little tighter or something, but... Uh, well... There's a yeah. Key. You have yet. Yeah. Well, another key. Let me just be honest. Another key to it is your dough needs to be cold. Mm -hmm. And our oven went out, so I've come to daughter's house to cook this, to do this. And so, your make sure your dough is cold, fresh out of the oven, because that does make the dough get softer mm -hmm. and makes it not easy to work with. But we're going to go ahead and try it anyway. We're gonna bake this at 375 for about 10 minutes. And then Tyler's gonna have lunch. Oh, I'm gonna eat all these. I'm gonna put it in our oven here. This one's fancy. And, oh yeah, she got double ovens. So we've had them in there 10 minutes. How do they look? They look good. They're golden brown. Oh, this look presentable. You did a good job with the cream cheese. Oh, dude, um, like a drizzle effect. I tried to, but it didn't really work. Okay. It looks like a cinnamon roll. Oh, it really does. Mm hmm. This is not a cinnamon roll. This is a cheddar bacon oh, pinwheel. That's good. It's good. Uh -huh.